As you can see as we're going along, I try to stage it just because the, the shape of this bed really begs to have the staging. Uh, but any kind of bed, it really, you know, whether it's a perennial border, an annual border, an herb border, start with your low things, move to your middle, and get to your tall things in the back. And again, as, as we've mentioned for many other types of plants, full sun, full sun, full sun, and good drainage. And that's why these herbs do particularly well in the raised beds, because these beds drain very quickly. Well, as you can see here at the end of the herb bed, we start with short plants and gradually move to the taller ones. Parsley border in front, with extra parsley for the swallowtail butterflies, along with a, a thyme garden. This is a variegated lemon thyme. This is the green lemon thyme. This is an English thyme. The plant next to the gray culinary sage is tricolor sage. It's variegated leaves and purplish stems. And next to that is golden sage. Beautiful greenish chartreuse um, variegation on the foliage. Now these variegated sages are, are edible and ornamental. However, they're not winter hardy in a lot of regions. They will not overwinter here. The culinary sage will. Now in the herb world, there aren't very many new introductions. And so what's exciting about this plant, it's a new introduction. It's called La Crema. And what it is, it's a variegated sage, which is hardy. It's actually a variegated version of the culinary sage, which is a, which is a hardy plant, versus the uh, traditional variegated sages, which are not hardy in, most, in, in cold climates. What's exciting about this for me, this was a three inch pot two years ago. And so look how it's spread. It's just tumbling over the side of this bed. Uh, it's one of my favorite plants in the garden. Great looks, you can use it in, in the kitchen as well.